Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Super Mario 3D World plus Bowsette's Fury. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Uh, like you can say it's a physical copy. Uh, we sort of picked that up for the house rather than like specifically as, as my copy or whatever. So I'm gonna find out if I actually like this game and we'll see what we think. Um, I have played 3D Land for the 3DS. I did not like that game. However, I've also played Odyssey, and I love that game, <laughs> and it looks like this is somewhere in between, so we'll see how much I like it. Uh, we're going to have a look at both parts of the game, like the new the new Bowser's Fury mode, we have to have a look at that, and we're also going to look at the base game. Um, I've never played the, like the Wii U version, I've never played this game at all before, I've seen it being played a lot. Uh, okay, so that's how that works. I just got a screen here to pick which to play. Uh, well, we'll start with 3D World. I'm gonna, like, play a bit of both, maybe like a half hour or so, and see what I think. Uh... This is a cute 3D World, uh, title screen. I like the little cat Goombas. Uh, I believe, yeah, you can play with various controllers. Uh, we'll just go with Mario. I'm probably going to play Peach more in the actual game for gender reasons, but <laughs> yeah, we can start out as Mario just to get the default experience. The characters do have different, like, abilities in this game. It, it's like in, um, Mario 2 USA. Uh, uh, like, Peach can float, Luigi jumps a bit higher, Toad is, I think, faster? Something like that? I think this is the only mainline Mario game where, the, where they actually do any plumbing. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll help you. Oh, I thought I had to press A, but I don't. Okay, um... How did Bowser get into this world before, like, the when the pipe was broken? I'm confused. Yeah, we'll help you. Okay, so you have a world map here that you can walk around on. Uh, it's a bit of a weird gimmick, but I guess it kind of works. Um, I think Ukulele in the Impossible Lair probably did this better, but it's a newer game, like, technically, so... Yeah, you can walk, you can jump, you don't get much control beyond that. You can't... Oh, hello. This game has a camera mode. Uh, I think that was added in the Switch version, I don't think you could do that on the Wii U version. But yeah, you press down, just like in Odyssey. Let's head into level 1 and see what we think. Uh... Okay. So we jump with the, uh, B button. You don't have, like, triple jumps and stuff, this is closer and controlling to a 2D game. Uh, you can ground pound. A, a lot of the moves in Odyssey are actually like loosely based on moves from this game. Uh, you've got ground pound jumps. You've got diving. Uh, you've got rolling and then doing a long jump out of the roll. You can just do a regular long jump too. Well, I'm a cat now. I believe 
Yeah, uh, you have to hold the Y button to run at a decent pace, uh, or the X button. It looks like it's the same as Odyssey. Uh, X and Y do the same thing, A and B do the same thing. I don't know if I can con configure that differently. Let's have a quick peek. Uh, I can change the camera controls. Uh, it looks like I can't tweak the button arrangement, so you'd have to use the global mapping if you wanted to change that. Come here, coin. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing a coinless run or anything, you may have noticed. Uh, I've heard that uh, Mario's movement is much faster in this game than in the original Wii U version. Again, I haven't played the Wii U version, so I can't really comment, but he does seem pretty nippy, so I guess we're good. Uh, you can store a power up in this game. You can see I can press the up arrow to get another super bell. I don't know if what happens when there's multiple players. Uh, whether, like, they get separate power-ups, or if they have one shared stored power-up. That's a green star. Uh, green stars are basically star coins. Oops. Uh, star coins, star medals, you know, the, there's three of them in each level, and you have to get, get them in order to progress, that kind of thing. Uh... I'm not sure why they made them green. I, I suppose because this game does have, like, uh, invulnerability superstars, so they didn't want confusion. Let's be a cat again. You also notice quite a focus on these clear pipes. Uh, which then didn't go on to appear in Odyssey, so I don't know if they thought it was a good idea or not. <laughs> uh, if you stand in, um... In 3D Land and in and in Odyssey, you have binoculars. It looks like in this game, you just sort of stand in a certain spot and it acts like the binoculars. Uh, you can move the camera around, by the way, just a little bit, though. Uh, it's kind of like Mario 64's camera. You flip the stick and it just moves a certain amount. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Um, it, the way the camera works fits with this style of level, I think, but I don't really like that the camera movement is in steps like this. When I have an analog stick, I should be able to do analog things with it. Oh, hello. Uh, pressing the R button makes a little M appear on the screen. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Okay, you can't do a fast swim. I was just gonna try. Uh, the fast swim in Odyssey is you just do the same controls as a dive, but you do it in midair. No, not in midair, mid no, you do it in water. Uh, but it looks like you just ground pound if you if you try to do that in water in this game, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I believe, yep, you can climb trees. I don't think you need to be a cat to do that. I think you can just always climb trees. I'm not sure, though. I believe these bunnies do not have very exciting power-ups. Oh, a Mega Mushroom, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's give that a try. Big now. I believe the purpose of this Mega Mushroom is to go over here and break these. Did I lose? Yeah, I lost my cat. I thought I might. Let's go back and get another one. We are a cat now. Uh, we've collected all three green stars. We have not collected the stamp. Each level in this game also has a stamp. Um, in the original version, they were used to get to Miiverse, like you use them on your Miiverse posts. But Miiverse doesn't exist anymore, so I assume they'll do something different with them in this game. I think the stamp is in here. Yep, there it is. Very easy to reach. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this, it gives me a lot of similar vibes to uh, Odyssey in terms of some of the controls, but others are a lot less precise than I would like. Um, which I mean, I, I, it's sort of more angular. Look, I'm trying to... Oh, there's a spin. That's the same spin that's in Odyssey. Uh, I'm having trouble explaining things, but um, 
like, you can't really walk at any angle in this game. Uh, it's restricted to certain angles instead of just literally anyone, any of them. Uh, it sort of makes sense given the level design, but also it's annoying because I like being able to do whatever I want. I'm not sure if the, there was a glitch in the first game called Cat Momentum. I don't know if that was taken out in this version or not because I don't know how to perform it, but... <laughs> Maybe, who knows. Uh... Also, yeah, this game still has lives, which I think is silly. Uh, I think platformers having lives all the time is just... It, do it doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess this is a 2D platformer of sorts with more of a level clear style, unlike Odyssey. So maybe it makes a bit of sense, but I don't really think it does. Okay, so that's Super Bell Hill. Um, I could probably have done it a lot faster than that. I just wanted to talk about it a lot and discuss what was going on. Okay, so we got a stamp. It's a little Mario with a little little cat. Uh, yeah, and we got three green stars as well. And we unlocked level two. So yeah, even though the world map is open like this, you still have to do the levels in order. Uh, you can't like progress in any other direction. You have to follow the lines basically, even though you can walk anywhere, you can you still have to follow the lines. Um, which kind of raises the question of what the point of having this world map with the free movement is. Can I not, can I not even jump over that, really? It looks like I should be able to jump over that. Hmm. Uh, I'm curious about... Oh, here we go. It says R plus left and right. Oh, hello. Hello, what do we got here? Okay, so that's what stamps do uh, in this game. You collect them and in the snapshot mode you can just stick them on things. <laughs> okay then. Uh, by the way, this seems to be motion controlled. Uh... The little stamp icon is moving around, like, when I move my controller. It, you can see it's very shaky. <laughs> um, I guess that sort of works. I think maybe the R button is the equivalent of the touch screen, because the original game, uh, you had a touch screen because you are using a Wii U gamepad. Uh, I think maybe use the R button instead? Yeah. So you can, you can hold the enemy like this. Well, it's not really the enemy, it's Koopa. Koopas are friends. And we can borrow the shell if we want. Mine now. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, it reminds me of the, the blue shell power-up in um the first New Super Mario Bros. game. Which didn't really come back for some reason, even though it was really cool. Yeah, cats are very powerful in this game. Look at all the walls and stuff you can climb up. Uh, okay, I can see something over here. Oh, hello. I think there's an infinite lives trick just here. Oops. That wasn't it, that was just me messing up. I, I believe you can put the shell in here, and then you can bounce on it forever. In order to get, you know, unlimited one-ups. Uh, I might not be able to even step on the shell, though. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it is in Odyssey. I'm trying to... Ah, oh, never mind. Let's get another shell. Okay, so you hold the Y button to carry the shell. It's, it's very similar to the way this sort of thing works in a 2D Mario game. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's probably enough lives. Oh! Oops! <laughs> okay, put a boop. Oh, it does the fast pipe thing when you ground pound. Okay, there are a lot of details here that remind me of Odyssey, which is very good because I love Odyssey. Um. There are also things that, you know, haven't been ported from Odyssey, though. I mean, they were probably created in this game, and then Odyssey, like, took the same things and did it later, because this game was first, but... There's a few things that Odyssey does that this that this game did not, which I am missing. For example, I cannot throw my hat. <laughs> also, you know, the whole design of this game is incredibly linear, whereas Odyssey is a lot more flexible. 
And also, I much prefer what Odyssey does with coins. It's much more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, is there a reason to take these pipes here? Mm, doesn't look like it. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh, you leave little cat footprints. Look. Oh, kitty. <laughs> Can I go up there? Mm, doesn't look like it. I'm guessing they didn't change the speed of the clear pipes, because that was, like, much slower than my walking speed. And the walking speed got in increased in this, this version of the game, right? Mm, you also got clocks and a time limit. A, a bunch of stuff that doesn't really happen in Odyssey that does seem to happen in this game that I think is unnecessary. Oh god! <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I seem to be having fun, uh, so that's a promising start. I do like to have fun when I play a video game. Uh, I'm now out of cats. Hopefully I can do without. Maybe there's a power up here? Yep, there's a fire flower. Okay, that's kind of neat. I kind of knew that, would, that was going to happen because I've seen uh, what these pipes do in Mario Maker. Uh, but it's cool to see it like in the actual game. Oh, hello. I'm trying to ground pound on the coin block, but I can't do it. It's not enough room. But yeah, look how much slower that is compared to my movement. It seems a bit weird. <sighs> okay, you don't hold the button to grab stuff. You can actually let go. You press it again to throw. It's interesting. Uh, I believe this level has a secret exit, but I think I need a cat suit to reach it, so I might not be able to get to that. Also, yeah, I know a lot about this game that I've never played. I I've seen a whole lot of videos of people playing this under different challenges and stuff, so... I already know the base game quite well. <laughs> it does seem to take quite a bit of inspiration, like, Odyssey seems to take quite a bit of inspiration from the stuff we can see here, which is... Nice, because I love Odyssey. We've got some little tiny Goombas here. They're not yellow like they are in, in the other game, but... They're still tiny Goombas. What have we up here? Uh, we can backtrack a really long way if we want. Oh, I see. It's like a shortcut if you manage to go that way. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, coins? Oh, golden pipe. Hello, golden pipe. Oh yeah, this is something I don't really like. They have these, like, golden objects that generate coins. This is pretty much lifted from New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS, which is a game that I didn't find interesting at all. Because <laughs> it's basically the same game, but everything gives you way, way too many coins for no reason. Um... Uh, they didn't really add anything of anything like compelling from that the first New Super Mario Bros. didn't have. And they made it more samey, changing the bosses from like unique stuff to Koopaling, that kind of thing. Green Star! <laughs> oh wow, I want coins. I mean, I don't really want coins, I don't do anything in this game, but I might as well get them. <laughs> okay, I can see something up there. Oh, hello! Okay, so the same thing with the invisible objects that you can detect by, like, using an ability nearby to make them semi-visible. Odyssey does that too. You don't really have, like, a fire flower in Odyssey, but... You know, same basic sort of idea. What's this do? Oh, hello! There's the stamp! Uh, I can see a thing I would like. Hello! Ah, dang it. Where's this one go? Okay, we've got everything in the level. And we have a whole heap of time left because I kept getting clocks and stuff.
Oops. I was intending to do like a rolling long jump to get the top of the flag, but I got the bottom of the flag instead. <laughs> oh gosh. Yep, there's my clear score. We got a coin. I guess that's cool. Right, so yeah, uh, in this game and in 3D Land, there's like a, a benefit to give, grabbing the top of the flag for 100%. You can see it's got like a yellow M flag here instead of a red one. I, I think to unlock like something you have to do that. Uh, that's just a toad house, let's not go there. Uh, this is a blockade. Uh, these are kind of similar to uh, in... whatchamacallit? New Zuma, um, no, it's just, Old Super Mario Bros. The, the the NES game, Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, you would have like Hammer Bros and stuff walking around on the map. It's similar to that. Uh, I think the new Super Mario Bros. game did it a bit too, but you know. These guys are very easy to beat. Again, the charging chucks, like with this design, showed up in Odyssey as well, and they were much more interesting in that game. Uh, because you could capture them and play as them, uh, instead of just defeat them. Uh... So I believe getting that particular green star is unavoidable. Uh, Mount Beanpole. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, I like beanpoles. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's find out if we can climb trees when we're not a cat. I think we can? Yeah. The climbing controls are roughly similar to how they are in Odyssey, but oddly enough, in Odyssey, all the things you can climb are square. Like, you only have, like, four sides to go on. This one, you can rotate around all the way. You'd think that this game would be, like, more restrictive. Uh, with that sort of thing the Odyssey is, but it's not, it's the other way around. Um, I think it's kind of better to only have the four sides, it's less confusing to know which way you're gonna go when you jump off, stuff like that, but... It just seems like a bit of an odd change, regardless. Power block. Power block. Power block. Get over here. Cat time. I think you can still get the um, raccoon suit from the previous game here as well, but I'm not sure where it shows up. What could that be? Oh, it's a P-switch. Okay, so these are roughly equivalent to like moon challenged collecty quests. Uh, it's a green star instead, but like, I recognize a lot of this stuff as being a way you would get a moon uh, in the next game along. Just a shame there's only three of them in each level instead of, you know, like 80 or whatever. <laughs> the perspective there was a bit confusing. <laughs> Take that, kitty. I'm the only one around here who gets to be a cat. Whoa, hang on, invisible cloud? Huh, alright. Um, okay. Oh, a star. Yeah, I like stars. This is the regular color of star, so it's just invulnerability. I got all the green stars. Like, I know this is World 1, but this is very, very easy. <laughs> uh, I guess that's just how it be. 
and the early parts of Odyssey are pretty easy too, Farron, to be fair. Is there anything up here? There's a mushroom. If you wanted a mushroom, you could get one. It's just not really clear what you're achieving by doing any of these levels. Like, I, I know that's true of all the old games too, but like in this one, the world map lets you walk past levels, and yet you can't actually go past them. In theory, I shouldn't have needed to go in there, because I can just walk all the way over to the castle I'm trying to get to immediately. But of course that doesn't work, because of how... Have you tried connecting and playing with friends? No, I have no friends. Online... Blah, 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 blah. Online or local wireless play with us, R or SR. Yeah, this game has, uh, I don't know if the, if the Wii U version had the, oh, that's actually locked. Okay, that explains why I have to actually do all the levels. I still think it's silly though, because in a level, Mario could easily jump high enough to get in there. Uh, hello, Captain Toad. Uh, let's go for this one, Switch Scramble Circus. Let's switch to Princess Peach. I, I just want to play as another character. She's a kitty! I believe Peach is a bit slower, but she can hover. And she does little, little bappy porgs when she does that. Also, I believe you can actually hit these with the pointer, if you want. Like that, yeah. I just wanted to see what happened. <laughs> So yeah, I think I don't think they've removed functionality from the Wii U version here. Uh, unlike with uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, uh, where they took out the touchscreen mode here, they just made it work using a pointer instead. So that's probably better. It's a lot more fiddly than it would be in in uh, the game. It's in the in the original Wii U version, but you know, it's playable. I keep accidentally hovering. <laughs> I just wanted to play as the cute princess, though. Also, these guys are called Stingbees. They don't appear in Odyssey, but you do see urban Stingbees, which are the fly whatevers that you can see in the Metro Kingdom at night. Uh, so, I'm not sure why flies and bees are considered to be different variants of the same thing instead of different species, but you know, whatever. Did I miss one? This is so imprecise, it's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this music is quite nice. I like Peach's Fire Flower outfit, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I knew where that was already. <laughs> I have seen so many videos for this game, despite having never played it until now. I just know everything. Okay, uh, watch out for the Magic Koopa. Get the basically unmissable uh, green star there. I was supposed to wait for the rings to move into place, but I didn't. 
Okay, and this is the end of the level. These levels are not very long, but I suppose it's World 1, so it's allowed to be kind of easy. Oh, a stamp! Cool. Yay! <laughs> okay, I've been playing for half an hour. Or about half an hour. Maybe I'll do just like one more level and then I'll switch over to the Bowser's Fury mode and see what that's like. I've heard that mode is more of an open world sort of collectathon kind of thing. Uh, and as you know, I love Odyssey, so uh, hopefully it'll be compelling for that reason. Uh, let's look at this Captain Toad level. So this game, 3D World, it predates Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, but this is basically the same game, game style. They had just a few levels like this, and then they made a whole game out of them, and that's Treasure Tracker. Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course in his search for five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera with the right stick, or you can hold the A button? Oh, and you can't jump. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can do, apart from not jumping. <laughs> uh, in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, you have a bunch more abilities. You can, like, pull up plants out of the ground and stuff. Uh, and I think there's various power-ups as well, but there's, like, just the mushroom in this game. But yeah, you can see it's essentially the same game as Treasure Tracker, because Treasure Tracker was inspired by these levels, and they made a whole game out of them. <laughs> I don't know how this would work in multiplayer. It was suggesting there was a multiplayer option, but I don't think you can play these levels in multiplayer. You can't in the original game, so... But yeah, that just gets us a bunch more green stars. Uh, and yeah, that's a Captain Toad level. Uh, let's just switch over to Bowser's Fury now and we'll see what that mode's like. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I know. Exit the title screen. Let's go have a look at the other mode. For one or two players, I believe one player is Mario, the other is Bowser Jr. Like, you don't get to pick anything else. Which is a bit obnoxious. Uh, we'll see, though. So yeah, I don't know anything about this mode yet, apart from the fact that it is apparently more like Odyssey instead of, like, a linear course clear sort of game. So hopefully... It will be the collectathon of my dreams, and I will become obsessed with this game and immediately need to play it at all times. Um, but for now, it's just loading for a really long time. Um, I've heard that this mode is actually quite short, like, compared to the base game, this only lasts, like, a couple hours, and the base game is still, like, a whole lot longer, especially if you go for 100%, so... We'll see. Is this set after the base story, or...? I don't know when this takes place. Oh no, it's a Shadow Mario symbol. I know about those, I've played Sunshine. So, is this game gonna be a big... Reference to Sunshine, or...? Okay, I can move the camera in all directions around me, so that's a promising start. Uh, I still can't double to triple jump. Feels a lot more like Odyssey than before, though. Okay, so there's Bowser being furious.
Not sure what getting coins does in this mode. I don't see a life counter anywhere. Do I want to get what this thing, whatever this thing is? Cat shine. Make the lighthouse shine. Okay, so cat shines have names. Um, and there are the collectathon collectibles, so that's promising. <laughs> that's an interesting start. Okay, um... There's a little pixely Bowsette down there, being all gross and angry. Uh, okay, we got a little autosave. Looks a lot nicer now. Where's this go? Well, I can see it glowing on top of the lighthouse. Oh, just a mushroom. Oh, oh, interesting. So my power-ups get saved in, in separate slots. Okay. I'm trying to roll like in Odyssey, it doesn't work. You roll a little bit and then you stop. Looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. Mario, Mom is out of control. I don't know what happened. I tried to help her, but she's too big and mad. I can't change Mom back by myself. I'd never ask you for help. Never, ever. I'll do anything to save Mama, so help me, Mario. Oh. You've teamed up with Bowser Jr., but how much should he help you? Uh, a little, I guess? I don't know what that does. One more thing to mention. If you share two Joy-Con controls, a second person can play as Bowser Jr. Okay, so, I haven't made a friend. Okay, this still uses, um, standard 3D world, like, movement, where you have to hold a run button, for some reason. Looks like I'm, my coins aren't adding up to, like, a, a life. It might be, like, a shop system, like in Odyssey, which would be real cool. Scamper Shores, make the lighthouse shine. Cat Bell! Okay, we're a cat now. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Shine the, the little shards, like moon shards, or star star pieces, or whatever. Silver stars, I think, is what they were called in the games that use stars. Kitty. Uh, what's, is there a reason to catch these kitties? Does it do anything?
I assume this will break open like later on. Hmm, this 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 game's controls are not nearly as tight as Odyssey's, which is a shame. Kind of what I expected, but still. Um, how do I use the 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 um the bell? Like I didn't want to use use the mushroom. I wanted to use a bell. Can I only use like the the mushroom if I'm small? Because that wouldn't really make sense. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> okay, those two, two... I think those two shrines we just got had the same name. Which is not promising. Um, is there a way to look at the list of stuff I've gotten? Yeah, make the lighthouse shine, make the lighthouse shine. Hmm. Unlike in Odyssey, they don't have unique names, which is disappointing. Ah, swimmy time. Oh, you can't grab those? Maybe you need to be a cat to grab them. Also, there's no side flip. Oh, there is side flipping. It just doesn't work as reliably as in Odyssey. Okay. <laughs> if you say so, I guess. Uh, get another shard. There we go. Oh, look at these. Uh, it's raining? Does that mean something's gonna happen, or...? going on? I mean, Bowsette's back in big scary mode, does that mean, mean anything? Oh no, the cats are evil. Why are the cats evil? Oh hey, I got the, the super duper bell or whatever. This one lets you do the tanuki suit thing. For some reason. Also, it gives you coins when you do it because you're a lucky cat. There's a lot going on here. It's a bit chaotic. Uh... Okay. You're leaving now? Okay. Is that like a day-night cycle kind of thing? It's pretty weird. Hiding in there. What's this? Oh, it's just where where the shrine was, I think. It's not like a collectible or anything. This lighthouse wants to bring something to light. That splotchy goop will vanish under the light of a cat shine. But some of those cat shines are a bit shy. If you can't find one, try looking on another island. Islands with lighthouses are usually hiding something. Get to a high up spot and look for one nearby. Let me up there. Oh, another bell. Oops. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, 
I don't know if there's a button I can press to actually switch which thing it'll give me. Doesn't seem to be. Bully the cat bullies. Fort flap trap. Oh, it's the beepy switch, switch panel thingies. Okay, this shard doesn't count towards the other one. It's like a separate area. Time to get bullied, cat bullies. Alright. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Well, I've got a lighthouse open. I guess that's cool. I'm not sure I like how the power-up system works. It's it's very confusing. Trying to like switch between different powers. Light news collecting coins is worth your while. You gotta power up every time you collect hundred coins. Okay. So it's not a shop system, it's just get to 100 coins and, and you get an extra power-up in your power-up storage. That's that's pretty disappointing. Hmm. Is something down here? It's like a gap. No? Okay. I thought it was trying to clue me into something, but it doesn't look like it. Hi kitties! I don't know what the point of carrying you is, but it's cute. Oh, hello. I'm appreciating how open world this mostly is, but I think everything that makes it different from Odyssey also makes it a bit weaker than Odyssey. <laughs> That's kind of the feeling I'm having. Uh, let's just keep wandering around though, maybe we can find some more shines and have some fun. Oh, looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Whoa, it's a Gigabell! I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was, when the beast rises, the Gigabell will ring, or something. Maybe we've got to get this splotchy goop off first. Seems some more cat shines might do the trick. Yeah, this is basically how it handles the quota for collecting a certain amount of things. You activate the bell by collecting the right amount of stuff. Pounce, bounce, aisle. Make the lighthouse shine. Yeah, I don't like the fact that every one of these islands has, has make the lighthouse shine as a description. It's just... feels lazy. Hello, robot friends. I mean, you do roughly the same thing a lot of times in different parts of Odyssey. Um, but they all have different names and, like, it's, you know, slightly different as well, but, you know. It feels less samey, in my opinion. I mean, that's not, even, that's not even really fair to Odyssey. You don't actually do the same thing for anything except, like, buying moons. It is a bit different. Uh... Oh, okay. So got another power-up. They really want me to have lots of power-ups by the looks of things. The Boomerang Bro is a little bit, uh, like having Cappy, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> It's not quite the same, though. You can't, like, bounce off of the boomerang or anything. Maybe you can, actually. Mm, 
It's hard to tell because it moves differently. But, like, fighting stuff with this feels very similar to fighting stuff with Kathy, which I appreciate. I'm not sure why they... Uh, I guess because of the camera? Like, why they didn't just have a regular multiplayer mode in this game, like they did in standard 3D World. But I guess it's probably because of the camera control. It'd just be a lot more complicated to have multiple players with a real, like, free camera like this mode has. Oh, I guess it's raining time again. Now it's night time. Cat shine. Ba da ba da ba da ba. Yeah. another area by doing that. What's up here? Uh, yeah, I was wondering about that. Looks like you have to wait for the night cycle to activate in order to open certain parts, which seems very annoying. Because you have no control over when it happens. It's just, like, probably at a, on a certain time interval or something. I keep forgetting to hold run because this game looks so much like a 3D Mario game, but it isn't one. Uh, I mean, I mean, it literally is a 3D Mario game, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, okay, I, I want that. I think I need a cat to do that. Oh, okay. You didn't do that before. Maybe if you just hold it down, it gives you the one that's selected, and if you just press it, it brings up the menu. Okay, uh, that's bothering me less now that I know you can do that. Climb to the shine, yeah. Ba da ba da ba da ba. Yeah, I collected five. Gigabell will be working, yeah. Blue coin bustle. Looks like the islands reset when you leave. And that's how you advance to different like quests and stuff. Dang it. Press the button again. Again, I'm forgetting to hold the run button because it doesn't make sense to me to hold a run button in a game like this. <laughs> well, look, another shine. I guess each, each lighthouse can have five? There seem to be five slots there. Yeah! 
Can I skip this? I can skip this. Okay. Maybe I should. I know. game had a fast swim button, like another game I could mention. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just it's just a bit slow. Oh it's raining. You know what that means? Raining only ever happens when terrible things are about to occur. I didn't notice these piranha plants have little cat ears. That's really cute. Jeez. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's night time. I guess I should go look at the bell. Yep, there we go. So, I guess I should go collect the bell. I think it's like a power-up. Oh, I wanted to enter the shell, but I didn't press the button I was supposed to press. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go! <laughs> Lakeside Gigabell. Makes you a big kitty. <laughs> uh, just like some annoying kaiju thing. Oh, God. I immediately lost my power up. This reminds me of the big battles in um Dream Team and Bowser's Inside Story, both of which I didn't think were very good. So, hmm. Also, how do I get power-ups? Okay, can I get power-ups or is it just like three strikes and you're out kind of thing? Because I mean that would sort of make sense given how like health works in the games that this is a lot more similar to. Like Odyssey where you've got three health, but I don't like it. <laughs> in Odyssey you can get life up hearts and you can heal by grabbing hearts and I'm not seeing either of those things in this game. Can I grab the bell again? Like, it still seems to be there. I can. Okay, that makes sense. I get it now. Did, did I just win? Is that the end? Oh, a cat rainbow. I'm a little confused as to what just happened. Like, Bowser exploded, but... Is there, like, a smaller Bowser inside? Is it just spawning a bunch more islands now because I got the first couple? Hey, Plessy, you're in this game. Hey, Plessy. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He's, she sank back into the lake, but trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my mama. 
We need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. More of that splotchy stuff went away, so there must be new islands to explore. Let's check the map and get going. Hurry up, Mario. Okay, I see. We're expanding out to new areas by... You want to say? Also, it's something important. If you get lost, just press minus or right to bring up the map. Can I, like, fast travel in this game? Looks like the answer is no. Hmm. Okay, so now I need to get a, another 15 cat shines. Is that total? Or? Hello, kitty. Oh, you need another kitty. Well, I'm a kitty. Hello. The music switching so abruptly is weird. Like, I know that it sort of does that in Odyssey, but it's a lot less sudden. <laughs> oh my god. Video games. I guess the reason you can't have other characters apart from the camera is like, they've designed this around Mario's ability set. Since it is roughly designed more like a 3D Mario game instead of like a side scroller. I mean, it literally is a 3D Mario game, but you know what I mean, again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I got it. Uh, I guess I fixed another lighthouse. Can you not get a bounce off of enemies in this game? I just need to be gaining any height. Hmm. I assume I was just doing something wrong, but you should be able to gain height by bouncing off of enemies. That's like a Mario staple. I would like a faster swim, please. Plessy, do you have a faster swim? Oh, I thought Plessy was like an auto scroller sort of thing that. Here you can just steer her around and go wherever you want. I think this is just for this mode. I think in the regular mode, Plessy is still an auto scroller, but this is cool. Let's go visit the new islands. There's still a bunch of, like, weird missteps here, here and there, that, you know, weren't problems in Odyssey, that this game is sort of introduced for confusing reasons. <laughs> also, I think this way of handling coins is a lot more boring. I, I, I like Odyssey. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Uh, oh, it's like a, a mini boss sort of thing. Again, this is very Odyssey having like a little fence around the side of the arena. Pretty much all the major bosses in Odyssey do this.
Well, we can go to Cat Shrine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I'm finding it much harder to jump on things than I did in Odyssey. I'm not sure why. Possibly something to do with the weird running controls. Although I don't know where that would be. Oh, slip skate slope. Make the lighthouse shine. Oh, you can get a skate. I don't really know what these do. I know that these are in the base game, but I have no idea what effect they normally have. Can you crash into walls with them safely? Yeah, looks like it. Or not. I don't really know how I'm skating on this stuff that's clearly just like stone. That should not work. Yeah! <laughs> I know what the song for this 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 game is supposed to be. <laughs> oh, it dropped cut my momentum in midair, so I didn't get the little rings. That's okay. I don't really care about coins in this game anyway. Yeah. Actually I think the lighthouse is already shining. Kind of shows the problem with having the, the moon called Make the Lighthouse Shine. Snapshot mode? Yeah, I know about snapshot mode. Thanks. You see another, uh... Bell there. Do I need to use that one next? Or does it not matter which one I use? Oh, they got little little cat ears too. Look, they're so fuzzy. Oh, that is cute. What does this plessy ring do? Okay, it spawned a bunch more stuff for Plessy to go through. Is this like a time trial? Yes. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! I assume Plessy can't go out in the in the goop either. Oh, there's another one of those things I've got to make and paint? A pipe? Let's go! Oh, it's money. I was kind of hoping for something more interesting, but I guess money's cool. You can do an Odyssey style dive like this, but it doesn't go as far. <laughs> oh, I already have that one. Don't need to get that one again. I guess I'll just leave it there. Hello, bullet. Come crash into this. 
Okay, I didn't do anything. I had a feeling it wouldn't. I need to actually find a key somewhere. Do you have to do the, the moons in a certain order? It looks like stuff doesn't show up until after you've done the first one. Kind of like in Sunshine. Uh, which this game is, you know, overtly referencing quite a lot, so that would make sense. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> oh, there's the key. Come here, key. I do like the prevalence of cat ears on everything in this game. It's quite adorable. Oh no, water breaks the key. I had a feeling it might. I honestly don't think this cycle adds very much to the game. I get thematically why it's there, because, you know, the game mode is called Bowser's Fury, that has to happen at some point, but... It doesn't really seem that... relevant. Uh, to the actual gameplay of going around collecting stuff. I guess I stepped in the wrong spot. I don't know what spot was the right spot, though. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! It's like getting, like, any shine will cancel out the night phase. But I think it also stops by itself as well, so I don't really understand... ...what the point of that is. <laughs> uh, are we done here now? Were there only four? Or were there five? Looks like there's just ju just that f those four, but maybe there are five. I don't know. It might not show the one below the current one. Okay, well, I think it's probably time to wrap up the video now. Um, so yeah, this is a game. <laughs> um, I like this mode, but I don't like it as much as Odyssey. I think they've made some missteps compared to that game. Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. Fury Shadow. Am I supposed to attack you or something? I don't really have any attacks. Is this like a Shadow Mario kind of thing? I 
Okay, if I touch you, I take damage, so... I'm confused. What am I supposed to be doing with this? Like, Shadow Mario in, in the original game, you would, you would spray him with the water, but that's not a thing in this game, because this game is a different game, and I don't have blood. <laughs> I'm confused. I can see the health is going down, so... Oh, I guess I did it. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's cool. Yeah, I know, I've got 15 cat shines, so I can do the cat thing next time. Next time, uh, Bowsette wakes up. Yeah, okay. I think I've talked enough at this point. Let's just go back to the title screen. Um, so yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> uh, I think this mode, it's, it's, you know, it, it plays, like, in terms of, like, what you're trying to do and, like, the structure of the game, it's very similar to, you know, a collectathon Mario, like 64 or Sunshine or Odyssey. But it controls exactly the same way as 3D World, and 3D World has very weird controls for that type of game. Uh, so I don't know if that works super well. Um, I don't think I regret getting this. It looks like fun, but, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's no Odyssey for sure. Um, and I don't know whether adding this was worth, actually, can I go further? No, it just, it just scrolls to the same. Okay. I don't know whether adding this extra mode here, which is really a very cut down concept of the sort of gameplay you have in games like 64 and Sunshine and Odyssey. Uh, it's, it's very, like, limited in terms of what it can do from those games, and... And apparently it's really short as well. Like, you, for a collectathon, you want to have a lot of things to collect to make it a collectathon. Um... I also, you know, don't like that they have so many shines that have the same name. That just seems silly. Uh, I mean, I guess that's not really a huge problem, but, like, it didn't happen in Sunshine, it didn't happen in 64, it didn't even happen in Odyssey, and that game's got 880 moons, so. <laughs> and this one, I don't know how many cat shines there are, but definitely less than 880, judging from the big size of the world map and how long I know the game is and everything. Uh, if you really liked 3D World to begin with, I'd recommend picking this up, unless... You know, you don't want to get the Switch version because you've already played it on the Wii U, in which case don't get it again, but... This this new game mode, I, I don't think it's, like, rushed or, like, an afterthought or anything. I think they've put some serious, like, concept into what to do with this uh, additional game mode, which is essentially a very short uh, 64 Sunshine Odyssey style game. Um, but using the weird, like, power-up system and health system and run button from a 2D Mario game like this one, which is not technically a 2D Mario game, but again, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, Threading World itself looks like fun. Um, I'm going to enjoy, like, the ideas that came, that were, were brought into Odyssey from 3D World, um, which I mentioned some of them already, because I like them in Odyssey. I think they're good here too. Um, this game mode, I, I like, I like, I like, I like a lot about it, but I also don't like a lot about it. There are, there's just a lot of weird decisions they made. Um, I, I guess making it control the same way as the base game makes some sense if you think about people who are only going to play this game. Like, if you just got this one, this was your one Mario game, you'd learn the controls by playing one mode, you play the other mode, it has the same controls. So, in theory, it's more intuitive for, you know, players to jump between one game and the other. Um, but as someone who, you know, passingly likes 3D World, doesn't like 3D Land, and loves Odyssey, 
making this control more like the games I don't like as much is a is is a misstep. <laughs> um, the camera control is good. Uh, the camera seems to be roughly the same as in Odyssey, which oh, he has a wonderful camera. Uh, I wish they'd like backported more of Mario's move set from Odyssey into this game mode. Because, again, it controls exactly like 3D World. You, you don't get, like, Odyssey's dive. You don't get Odyssey's, like, faster roll, which can just go on forever, for example. Uh, you don't get, you know, fast swim, that kind of thing. Um, and it would be nice if you did get those things, but you, you don't. You don't get them in Bowser's, in Bowser's Fury, which is a shame. Um, I also think this should have some sort of fast travel, because... Swimming around is not fun. <laughs> it, it could easily just be like warp to each gigabell or something like that, and that would probably be enough. But like no fast travel at all on a map that like gives me extreme. Oh wow, I've played Odyssey before. Vibes is you know, it just seems like a weird decision. Um, so yeah, uh, that's 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, this 3D World part, if you like this game at all, you know, here it is again. I don't think they've taken anything out, uh, so you should be able to enjoy it the same way you might have done on the Wii U. Uh, the only thing that might be different, um, like we already saw that motion, like the point, the, uh, not motion, the touch screen controls work just using like a uh, pointer on the screen, so that's fine. I think this game had some microphone controls as well. I would guess that those have either been removed completely or just changed to using pointer controls or something like that. Um, because, yeah, there's no microphone on Switch. There was one on the Wii U. Uh, I would assume it's just been changed to something else, but I don't really know for sure. Um, so, yeah. Um, Whereas this game mode, if you're really looking for a collectathon platformer, this is not the buy for you. Odyssey is the game you want. Um, but if you, what you want to play is essentially Super Mario 3D World. If you want to play what is essentially a 2D Mario game that plays in 3D, and you would like it to maybe have some collectathon on the side, I think they've done a good job of that. <laughs> like, especially if this were the only game you were playing. Like, if if you only had this game, and maybe if you played the original 3D World or 3D Land, then having like a collectathon flavored thing that plays the same way as the other game is is it's a nice addition. But going into it as someone who really vastly prefers the games they've done that are full fully like this type of game instead of this type of game, it doesn't work for me. But it would work if you if this was like the type of game you played more often. <laughs> uh, I'm not like completely unimpressed. Like, I like a lot about this package, I just don't think it's like a must-buy. I'm, I'm a lot happier having it than, for example, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U uh, Deluxe, because that game essentially just removed things from the Wii U version, and I didn't really like that game in the first place, so... Yeah, but this one I think they've done a much better job. And I think I can recommend this if you, you know, want to play a game that's 3D World and you maybe want to have a little taste of some Collectathon 3D platformer as well, then yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I think I've said that four or five times now. <laughs> um, I do think the day-night cycle thing where, like, Bowser makes it rain and all the enemies become bad and then it goes away if you get a shine, that's just weird. Like, you should be able... Like, it doesn't need to necessarily be fully under your control, I guess, but making it so collecting a shine interrupts it, but otherwise it's completely, like, automatic is weird because you can't collect the shines more than once. <laughs> they work exactly like Moons in Odyssey, I think. It looks like the ghost ones were showing up and they give you coins when you grab them. And yeah, you can't get the same one twice. So you have to go do something different every time this automatic event that happens over time happens again. Which just doesn't seem quite right. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you know my takes on each game made sense. Um, I hope I didn't you know compare it too much to Odyssey as much as I love that game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's about it for now. 